Good evening. Please just give me a little of your time to share the word of God with you. Psalm 107, verse 1 and 2. He said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. Say, so Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. He said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, and his mercy endureth forever. Beloved, I want to let you know that the Lord God is good to me, and I know that he is good to you also. The Lord is a good God. The Bible says that the Lord is good, and his mercy endureth forever. We need to see about the goodness of the Lord. All of us, we have our own individual and personal testimony of the goodness of our Lord and our God. Beloved, you see that I am alive. I am here today talking to you. It is because of the mercy of God. It is because of the goodness of God that I am alive, that you are alive. Beloved, we need to give thanks unto God. The Bible says it's good and his mercy endureth forever. You know, I may not know your story, but I know where the Lord God has taken me from. I know how the Lord God has washed over me. I know how the Lord God has protected me. So I can identify with the Israelites when they say in Psalm 126 verse 1, He say, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like they that dream we were like they that dream the lord have done wonders for me great and mighty things for me the lord have protected me i know for many many years the challenges that i have the hand of this great god protected me the hand of this great god protected me from the hands of the enemy the hands of the wicked Beloved brethren, I know my story and I cannot take what God has done for me for granted. I want to tell you today through this media that the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. I know of sleepless nights that I have had, but in all this, the Lord did not leave me alone. The Lord kept me, the Lord watched over me, the Lord provided for me, and the Lord gave me victory. The Lord gave me victory. Yes, I can boldly say that the Lord gave me victory. It is because of the mercy of the Lord that I am not consumed. Beloved, I am thanking him and I know that thank you for me is even not enough because I know where he took me from. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There is this song that we, we, we you know, they, they sing. It says, when I think about the goodness of the Lord and for all that he has done for me. It says, my very soul will shout, hallelujah, glory to God. Beloved brethren, when we think about the goodness of the Lord, for all that he has done for us, we need to really actually appreciate him. We shouldn't take all these things for granted. The Lord is surely good. He delivered us from the hands of the wicked. Beloved brethren, the Bible says that in Galatians chapter number 5, verse number 1, it says, Stand fast therefore in the liberty where which Christ had made us free. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where we Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Christ made me free. Like I have said before, I know where he took me from. I know how he washed over me, how he protected me. I had challenges for many years. But this great God came and he turned the table around. He turned again my captivity. He gave me victory. Beloved brethren, God has given me victory. Christ gave me victory. And the Bible is telling us, it says, Stand therefore in the liberty where which Christ has made us free. Christ made me free. 
I know that he has done something wonderful for you too. But let us remember to always give him the glory. He says, stand therefore in the liberty where which Christ has made us free. How can we stand in that liberty? I believe that one of the ways that we can stand in the liberty where which Christ has made us free is just to believe his word and begin to act in according with his word. Because his word, they are yea and amen. You see all the promises of God in Christ Jesus, they are yea and amen. When we believe the word of God and when we begin to act in according with the word of God, that word of God that is true, that truth becomes a reality in our lives. It says, stand therefore in the liberty where which Christ has made us free. And I believe that one of the ways we can stand in this liberty is to just begin to believe and begin to declare what God has said. Yes, we declare what God has said because what God has said is actually the truth in every situation in our life. We need to believe it. We need to begin to declare it over our lives. For example, God has said that, you know, we are blessed. So we need to begin to declare that we are blessed. That is agreeing with what he has said. We need to declare, even though that, you know, it may look like we are not, but declare it that you are blessed, that you are a blessing. Glory to God. Declare it and begin to walk in that line. Find yourself something to do and the blessing of God will show up in your life. If God said that you are healed, yes, you may have challenges, physical challenges. Just do something. Just believe the word of God. Declare that with the stress of Jesus, you are healed. And just take that step of faith and you will see that the word of God is true. There is nothing that is impossible with God. If God says you are blessed, you are blessed. If God says you are strong, even though you are weak, he said, let the weak say I am strong. Begin to declare what God has said concerning you. That is one of the ways I believe that we can stand in this liberty. Why? Because Jesus Christ paid the price for our freedom. And that freedom is a total freedom. Whatever you may have challenged in your life today, Jesus Christ has already paid for you. So you need to believe. You need to stand in that truth. You need to stand in that liberty that Christ has made you free. I was remembering this morning. I remember some years back, a few years back, I would go to the house of God in the night. I would pray. And when I come back and I just have some few hours, maybe less than three hours to sleep or two and a half hours to sleep, you, you know, before I wake up again to go to work. So I would just notice that the bed that I lie down on will begin to shake. You know, it, 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 is, it is abnormal that, you know, the bed will just be shaking. And I'm coming from prayer, you see, and at the end of the day, I don't really have that energy again to go and start to pray and bind and lose and all those ones, you see. And I have some few hours before I wake up again to go to work. Do you know what I do? I just begin to declare the word of God. I begin to say, I am seated with Christ Jesus in the heavenly places. Far above principalities and power. I know what was going on. It was not of God. They're shaking. You know, at the end of the day, I begin to declare that. As I begin to declare that, I discover that the bed that is shaking... I, you know, for me, it, it was no longer existing. I don't feel it anymore that any bed is shaking. Why? Because I am no longer there. I believe that I am seated with Christ Jesus in the heavenly places, far above principalities and power. So I did that. You know, after some time, I didn't notice that the bed is shaking anymore. Why? Because Christ has given me victory. I believe the word. I acted the word. And I saw the result of the world. So when the devil knows that he cannot get me in that area, well, he will not waste his time. So I want to tell you that the word of God is true. The word of God is free. Declare the word of God and you will see the result that God has said. Beloved brethren, the word is powerful. When you begin to speak the word of God, it is powerful. The angels of God, they hear unto the voice of the word of God. 
So one of the ways we can stand in that liberty is by declaring the word of God. So I want to thank you for listening to this short broadcast. Go to church tomorrow. Let us serve God together. God is a good God. Beloved brethren, I want to encourage you. There is a Bible-believing church close by you. Just go and serve God. You will never regret. God bless you and have a wonderful time. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.